money isn't like power, but it's, for me, my whole thing is money is just like freedom. Freedom is just like taking care of shit. Like you people, when, when somebody some when stuff. somebody goes, money don't buy happiness. They never they never go after that. Like yeah, so when my mama gets sick, I just <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I just, I just tell her that you know what I'm saying. Like, fucking, like, money ain't gonna buy you. Like, medicine ain't happiness. I, right. I just I can't look at people in my life struggling and be like I can't help. I want to be able to help. Everybody got food. Everybody got everybody got what they need. And just being able to do that is phenomenal. Much rather be able to do that than not be able to do that. But I mean, but did you not struggle before that? I did. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, it was trash. Wouldn't That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't though. recommend it. What my camera? Get to what my camera at, sir? Don't is recommend it, I, struggle. Don't. I would just if you. If this is, wait, 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 or not struggling, I'm telling you right fucking now, don't struggle. I know you're probably thinking, but I want to paint. I want to make whatever whatever you want to do. It ain't that serious. You can still do it. Just do it after you done not struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like, bro, like, everybody act like they got to just do it. Like, but like, they go, like, I'm going to be the world's best. I'm, I'm, I'm going uh, to make flutes or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, listen, you can still make flutes. Make flutes after you get off work, yeah. bro. Like that's that's the best time to make flutes. If you really want to make flutes, <laughs> if you truly want to make flutes, you will find the stamina to make flutes <laughs> after an eight-hour shift. Hot breath or whatever. Oh yeah, and Joel you know, Byers, man, that guy. Yeah, bro. I did his podcast maybe four or five years ago, and I was taken aback by how yeah, bro. much research he does before he talks to you. Like yeah, the bro. questions were like, "What the? Fu- how, how do you know that about me?" I would oh, never yeah. do a podcast like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did you feel all when your dog died all, in third all grade? My mama, I would never do a podcast. I like loved that, it, but bro. I was also a little like, oh shit, anybody can find all this out? Like, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I would not love it. <laughs> Why? You say one thing. You say one thing about me that I didn't tell nobody, bro. I'm shooting you, bro. <laughs> 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 I heard you got some new Nike boots. I'm like, yeah, you, it's a wrap for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't wore them bitches yet. <laughs> but no, nah, man, get out of here. Yeah, but he had um, the dude who owns the Atlanta Comedy Theater on, and he was just basically just like... Oh, Gary Abdo? Yeah. And he was basically just kind of like, you know, you can't just sell funny anymore. You know, it used to be you could have, like, it used to be people would come buy tickets to a show off the reputation of the club or just kind of like, we're going to go see, we want to go see a comedy show, let's go to the comedy club. It's less about I want to go see comedy and more like I want to go see this person. So okay. now it's just like, all right, comedy clubs don't give a fuck if you funny. They care if you can bring people in the door that are going to buy food and buy drinks, you know? Yeah, I, I talk to Gary about this stuff all the time. He's, I, that's always been the case. That's yeah. always the, the people who sell tickets. They, he's right. They used to be able to go like on radio in a town yeah. and do. Like Ralphie May would do that. Like just mm-hmm. be so funny on the, or or Frank Caliendo would do that. You just be so funny on radio that it fills the room. Yeah, yeah. It's, that he's like that does not happen anymore. Yeah, bro. And it's just. Uh, but I I'm also like I I kind of get with him like, he's also, like the comics you got to be radio. good at this and you got to be good at advertising and you got to have social media like, dude, it's hard enough just being funny. You yeah. Your business is me performing like. That's your job to promote the show. Yeah, and you're I guess, hiring like it'd be like me taking my my uh, my truck to get worked on by somebody who doesn't fucking know how to work on cars just because he yeah. can paint cars, you know, or something like I don't know. Well, that's, that's evolution, ain't it? Now. You know, what I'm saying like what what you could what was nasty in the NBA back in the day ain't nasty now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like he, he, the, he the best bounce passer in the league. Okay. Like, nobody... yeah. <laughs> Owen Owen came out yesterday and was like he he was like so who you got in the goat debate, Dad? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's in basketball. Who's who's the guy? I'm like, it's Jordan, right? It's and he's he does not think so. He's like they're not even playing defense against. Him. Look at these highlights. That's all. Yeah. And, and then he's like, I was like, are you sure you're? Like, and, he, and he goes, look at this. And he's just showing me some LeBron James stuff. And I'm like, he's it's convinced just, that like it's, it's general. I, mean, I I just feel like yeah. you gotta. Everybody always gotta do more to be impressive. The more uh, intricate and uh, what am I trying to say? The more intricate and widespread any art or sport is known the more you got to do to stand out. So, I mean, that's how, that's how they weed people out now, is I think as opposed to, like, who's funny, it's like, who's funny and, 
can market. Yes. And then it's like, who's funny and can market and can act. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, which it's like, it's still their way of like, this this is the new gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? Like we need it, it's it's really kind of like a I can say Kevin Hart's fault, but it's like we need more Kevin Hart's. We need we need more people that are bringing everything to the table so we can put them in any arena and be successful. You know, like I feel that. See, I'm kinda, wait, but just just yeah. just real quick. The funniest comedian we have in this whole state, the funniest person that anybody that does comedy knows, works in a pawn shop. <laughs> That's the funniest. He's the fun. He's probably the funniest person. Pro- might be on the East Coast. He works in a pawn shop. That's nobody's fault. That's just, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like he he he's undeniably funny, but the marketing part. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the the acting part. Just life circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody yeah. want to do comedy and their parents both got 401ks, got a better chance than somebody want to do comedy and their parents don't. I mean, it's just, I don't it is know. what it is. I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. What part? That it would I don't I don't think it's easy no matter unless you know a nigga in the industry. I don't know if that's I ain't talking about me, is I'm not saying easy as far as like just I mean it's industry. just I'm like saying like if you more, got it's easier to financially support yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm you're saying. Like how him. many how many people do we hear coming up that like yo, I got people in New York. I'm like, wow, you out the gate, they out out the gate, they got it easier yeah. than we got it. Nah, you know you. what I'm saying? So like, it's just just shit like that. Mm-hmm. Just like just the 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 little the littlest of a leg up. Yeah, it's crazy. Just just you take you take mediocre funny. You know what I'm saying? From somewhere where it's like actual like heat, like areas where they got like real killers, and you put mediocre funny in areas where there's no comedy, mm-hmm. bro. They they taking off. Yeah, just just off of being there. Yeah. And just off off of being able to get there. Somebody yeah. start a somebody start a room in some weird coffee shop in New York nobody have been to yet. Nobody you know, just I guess some weird sect that yeah. doesn't have comedy like that, they taking off. Mm-hmm. I've seen it happen too many times, bro. Somebody wasn't at least at least I seen it down here. Somebody wasn't doing well down here. You go to New York, they eat that shit up. Mm-hmm. Because it's it's you, you got less room for like wow. I feel like you got less room and less time to generate real monsters. It's like they, New York creates monsters, but it's off of like the numbers. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to find a monster like once a month. Yeah. Just off, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like down here, it's like if somebody's really, really, really good, it's because they they worked at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not because they knew somebody or they were able to get extra stage time or anything like that. It's like this person was performing and they were performing outside in tents. They were performing in gas stations. They were performing church, whatever they could do. It's, yeah. easy, to like, it's to be good. easy to get terrible there, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, Is it's it because there's so many people too? That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. Everybody doing the same. Sh- I'm saying the same jokes, but like everybody trying to be a comedian. You got. Yeah. I don't know how many comedians in New York. I don't know why. I don't know why you would move there and just th- throw your dog into the fight with just millions of other people. Well, I mean, yeah. and then also people that are doing stand up because. It's a adjacent gateway to some other shit. Yeah. That so stand up is really abused as far as like the numbers of how many people are really doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because even for me, I'm just kind of like, I mean, all that you know, network shit. You know, it'd be cool. You know what I mean? But I'm like, there's nothing in me that's like, oh, I'm chasing that. You know what I mean? Because it's not really the prize anymore. It helps, nah, but bro. it's the prize is. Blowing up online, you know, it creates a fan base. Yeah, you know what I mean, so and that's really all I really fuck with. You know what I mean, bro? I, I literally, I just want enough people to fuck with me enough to where it's just like, all right, I can go on the road, maybe thirty weeks out the year. No, I can at least almost sell out most of these rooms. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's just kind of like, all right, these other twenty-two weeks, bro, I'm chilling. You know, 22 weeks you're taking off from comedy? Not consecutively. You know what I mean? I mean I'm thinking like, you well, made every, it sound every, like it was hybrid. Every, I'm thinking like every, <laughs> That's a lot. You, but every other week, I mean, you wouldn't go on the road every, you would, but like every other week you're on the road. That ain't I'm bad. talking about like my like end goal. You know what I mean? Oh. You know, like just kind of like, I want to just have, you know, I want to have enough money to be comfortable. You know what I mean? A gig every other weekend is that's pretty good. And then especially if like, you know, if I'm still doing the social media shit and that shit starts, you know, 
That shit's just so rough, man. I just, I, God bless anybody trying to do it, bro. Yeah, bro. Everything's hard. It's difficult. Stuff is hard. Yeah, bro. Then why do they sell hard, so bro. much Viagra? I don't. <laughs> well, what'd you Come say? on. I'm writing jokes over here. <laughs> <laughs> he said everything's hard. And I was like, well, why do they, you know. <laughs> yeah, I made it a dick hey, joke. That's what I do. But no, bro. It is just kind of like, <laughs> I'm either going to struggle not doing it, or I'm going to struggle doing it. Wait, there's no there's no option where you don't struggle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's get there, to that. Wait, one. Is there an option where you don't struggle? <laughs> no. Ooh, I don't think so. Ooh, I think it's all struggle, bro. Ooh, for comedy, though, right? Like, just you sound like, like the Buddha in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I this, mean, I feel like it's it's it is all struggle. But this is with comedy. Like this, with this scenario, is with comedy as the main thing. No, I mean it's going to be struggle regardless whether you're doing comedy or not, nigga. Oh. If you want something in life, you're gonna struggle. Uh, I don't know I, if I, I agree with that. I just feel like I got I, maybe I just got past that. Or maybe I, maybe I, maybe I just got. I think I, I just got done struggling. That's what happened. Yeah, I've, I've, doing, I've been doing pretty good <laughs> recently. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing I've been doing pretty okay. I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing better next month. Like just just off of time, just <laughs> off of time, <laughs> just off of time, and you know what I'm saying percentage increases. So explain. I hear that. Yeah. Do you, so do you? Is there? So your recent successes, do you sort of understand why rich people stay rich and just get more and more and grow generational wealth and, and yeah, grow power? Yeah, it's way better. It's way, money isn't like power. But it's, for me, my whole thing is money is just like... Freedom. Freedom is just like taking care of shit. Like people, when, when, somebody, some when somebody goes, money don't buy happiness, they never, they never go after that. Like, yeah, so when my mama gets sick, I just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I just tell her that. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, like, money ain't going to buy you. Like, medicine ain't happiness. I, right. I just, I can't look at people in my life struggling and be like, I can't help. I want to be able to help. Everybody got food. Everybody got, everybody got what they need. And just being able to do that is phenomenal. Much rather be able to do that than not be able to do that. But, I mean, but did you not struggle before that? I did. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, it was trash. Wouldn't That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't recommend it. Where my, that... my camera at, sir? Don't it, recommend I, struggle. Don't. I would just if you. If this is, wait, 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 I'm taking something right now. <laughs> if you got the option of struggling or not struggling, I'm telling you right fucking now, don't struggle. I know you probably thinking, but I want to paint. I want to make whatever whatever you want to do. It ain't that serious. You can still do it. Just do it after you done not struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like bro, like everybody act like they got to just do like but, like they go, like, I'm gonna be the world's best. I'm gonna I'm I'm make uh, I'm gonna make flutes or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, listen, you can still make flutes. Make flutes after you get off work, yeah. bro. Like that's that's the best time to make flutes. If you really want to <laughs> make flutes, if you truly want to make flutes, you will find the stamina to make flutes <laughs> after an eight-hour shift. But is that not part that's of the struggle, struggle though? That, listen, that's listen, joy. Listen, that's a different kind of struggle. That's a stamina struggle, not a financial like where am I gonna eat struggle. That's that's, that's, a, that's a, what I'm saying though. Regardless, it's a it's a struggle. But I'm I'm, I'm saying that's a kid I'm not too. saying it's just. I mean, there are. I mean, like there are financials that go into it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, with everything. But it's just like nigga, struggle is beyond money. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like struggle is for sure beyond. But money. it is just like that's the number. I, 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 I'm not gonna say it's not other struggles, mm -hmm. but as far as art goes, yeah, money seems to be the number one struggle. And yeah. then like I think number two might be like depression. But the depression comes from people not from, paying yeah. enough for your art so you can live. It really comes back like the whole art and money thing is just so intertwined, but it's truly what it comes down to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, if I could tell jokes and then somebody gives me like a life voucher and like, hey, this voucher is good for like 400 things you might need <laughs> throughout, I don't need money. I just need some food. I want some video games. I want yeah. some weed. Like, if, if this voucher can do that stuff, I don't need to ever see cash again. Yeah. But nobody values, I say nobody, people don't seem to value art like that, especially when it's just words. Because, you know what I'm saying? If it, at least if it was a painting, I could buy your painting and then I could put it up on my wall and I could look at it <laughs> whenever. And I'm like, man, that was a good that was a good time. You know what I'm saying? I, spent, I gave him money. He got money now. And now I got this. When you tell somebody jokes, bro, you just... You might giggle in your car the next day. Mm -hmm. That's it. So it's like super hard to get money off of like that. Off being I funny? I disagree. Yeah. I dis 
See, because this is kind of like if as you're opposed just, to other, as opposed to a tangible nigga, product. You, I'm not saying it's impossible. Nigga, you were talking about a bard, a nigga was just wandering around. Telling jokes, hoping someone give him some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the actual business. But that's what it is at first. You I'm just telling about, jokes, hoping that somebody yeah, book well, you you're later. You're getting good. You're developing something to... Because it is just kind of like what I'm selling is... Like as a comedian, as far as the actual business is, you're trying to convince another business that I can bring customers. Yeah. Through me, I can bring customers through me as a marketing tool alone or through whatever means that I market. Yeah. I can get people to come to your business. You're basically a freelance event marketer, basically. Yeah. I can I can get niggas in your venue. You know what I mean? That's the that's the business of it. Yeah, but I mean that's different than what I'm talking about as but far as people just paying you to come see you. You see yeah. what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. a whole different thing because with the business involved, that's that makes sense. That makes sense. Like while yeah. they're here, they're gonna get drinks. They're gonna get food. They're yeah. gonna they're gonna spend more money by being in the room. Mm-hmm. But if it was if it was just a room, yeah, with with you, not saying you couldn't do it, but you got to be like a like a megastar. You got to be like one of them. Yeah. Like this is just me, no drink. Like just just yeah. hear me talk. That's hard. Not saying it's impossible. Yeah, it's hard. It is hard. And I just, I just don't want that. This is my this is my my only point. I don't want the the difficulty of that to break some poor person that probably had no business getting it from a microphone anyway. Yeah. That's my whole thing. I think I will for sure say you have to be nasty to even try. There we go. You know what I mean? There like, for go. sure, get nasty first. <laughs> get good. Listen, nigga. What? I don't care. Because it's like, I'm not, I'm not trying nasty, to tell- Nasty means good. Nasty okay. means like, like adept. Bro, like, <laughs> like, I guess in my mind, I'm thinking about a Thank nigga you. who's in my position. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, all right, I've been doing this for a long time. I've dedicated a, not necessarily, not in a long time in the grand scheme of things, yeah. but it's just like, I have with long no. long time for your 20s. You know what I'm saying? It's your best I, years. I have, spent, I have spent my entire 20s, my late teens and early 20s, I spent learning how to do comedy. You know what I mean? Learning. How'd you now? How'd you learn? Just by doing it, or by watching uh, interviews and podcasts and stuff with comics? And both. How, how'd you learn it? Both. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it, it is just kind of like I don't know. It is. Did you start doing it first, and then go? Oh, I should learn this. Or did you learn it first, and then go? You know nah. what I mean? So before I did stand up, I was doing like sketches and shit on YouTube, and then I started doing like these little like. Uh, Blogs, literally not that different from what I'm doing now, but I was doing it in like 2013. Right. And, you know, and I wish I would have stuck with it. You know what I mean? But that's kind of what I was doing, you know, in high school. It's then so I funny got out to me to listen to a 26 year old dude regret his youth. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, what the- but, but that's how you, bro, that's how you gotta be now. Like, you hear all these stories but, but about so and so. That's up. how quick opportunities pass. Now. Yes, I didn't. Mm. I didn't even think about this shit when you I was. Got, but like, it's like if you want to, uh, you want to be a baseball star, he got to be playing baseball the second bro, he can born. comprehend the game. Yeah, it is like if you, like, if he's truly like a, anything, like you got to make them start immediately. And bro. stand-up's the weirdest thing. People, this one dude, he's, his son does stand-up. He's like seven. Yeah, they starting at like seven years old now. Yeah, you eighteen, you got eleven years experience. Yeah, you nasty. You Caleb Elliott now. But I was about to say, bro, Caleb Elliott started a teenager. Jordan Fisher started a teenager. Maddie Wiener started a teenager. Yeah, I'm just saying, like hey, you got to start. You got, you oh, got to start. I'm fucked. That's, that's why I'm chilling. I started yeah, 21. I I'm like, cooked. Mm. I could drink think, when I started. I don't I'm think done. it's necessarily <laughs> that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's necessarily. It's just kind of like. You're going to be older by the time you put that time in. That's really it. I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I smoke every but, day, nigga. I'm going to fucking die, nigga. I got time to fucking pop it when I'm 65. Ooh, ooh he, he, this I old mean, dude funny. I'm, and it's like, bro, I'm not telling I've been dead nobody, 11 years by then. <laughs> I'm not telling <laughs> nobody to throw their life away over a dream. Because it is there just. There we go. There we go. I'm, like when people are like, oh, I live in my car dream. and they don't have five minutes. But it, mm-hmm. but it was just kind of like, don't throw your life away over a dream. That's your, that's your. Yeah, it's a dream. Like, yeah. Because my whole thing is, all right. What about chase your dreams? <laughs> what? Because, <laughs> all right. Because yeah, my whole bro. thing about. <laughs> that's so crazy. Because it's like, all right, in a way, we can, we can all say I'm chasing my dreams right now. Follow your dreams. Follow. There it is. 
Follow at a reasonable pace. <laughs> and that's a follow no, 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 that no, no, nigga. No, 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 no. Don't being, let your dream turn no, the corn no. on your ass, boy. That's funny. Keep your dreams within sight. <laughs> no, and that's kind of part of it where it's just like, all right, I do have these dreams of, all right, I, I want to be in this situation. And it is just kind of like, all right, there there are steps that I have to take. So now it's just kind of like, it's not really a dream, it's more of a goal. Because it's something yeah. that's tangible based off of, all right, I know to get here, reverse engineer it type shit. Mm. All right, I know to do to be a, to do theaters, I got to be able to sell out clubs. To sell out clubs, I got to be able to sell out bars. You know what I'm saying? To sell out bars, I got to be you gotta nasty. Have bars. Yeah, bro. You, just, and, you got to be Social nasty. media presence. And social media. See, and that's the one thing I was just kind of like, all right. I've, the thing I have you didn't want to do. The thing I didn't want to do <laughs> is what helped. Is what's stopping me from getting where I want to be. So now it's just kind of like, you know, all right, I know how to do this part. I know how to get a venue. I know how to get it to where it's like I get guaranteed money no matter what happens. You know what I mean? Right. So now it's just like, all right, I don't want to just settle and just get my guarantee. Bro, I've done, I've gotten rooms where it's just like, bro, if I can sell this bitch out, I can make 1200 tonight. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? But it's just like, all right, I didn't sell out. I made three. You know what I mean? I didn't sell. But it's just kind of like, oh, if I would have did something, you know? So even just kind of a couple of months ago, just me starting to do these videos, you know, it's just kind of like, all right, I started selling tickets for shows in July a month ago. You know okay. what I mean? People started buying tickets. I don't know if it's off the strength of the videos. People see the videos and then see like, oh, he got... So in order you know, to keep doing this for yourself for comedy, mm -hmm. can you also flip that and be like, start to notice some of the things like other, there's a lot of guy comics like JD that aren't going to do the business side. Can you yeah. be like, you know what? That's a comic I can run right back through my venues and I can sell this guy. Just Literally. Like I, sell I, I have been almost I can thinking sell about that. Dehaj just like I sell me. Mm -hmm. And then you start to, then you're making money off them. Now you the P. Diddy of comedy. Yeah. yeah. We, there it we is. got to say all that now. But like, no, but like <laughs> you like the Puff Daddy of comedy. No, I'm not. You you're you're the Sean yeah. Combs. No, no, You're the no, Gary no. Abdo <laughs> no. of this area. You love, like, but like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, it, is, it is just kind of like, I want to, <laughs> it is like, I do want to do something like well, that. you got to make it creepy people that he is. <laughs> he can't just be a successful, like, non-creepy. You just, a, but like, no, okay, not, okay, not P. Diddy, Russell Simmons. Like, the Russell, he did the Dev Comedy Jam, so Russell Simmons. But he's also, he also got allegations. Wait, what he do? Bro, he, I, all them niggas is villains over there. Okay, how about the, um... I'm trying to think somebody did. <laughs> there's nobody with less, there's nobody with more than $100 million that isn't e bill. And it, 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 it could, uh, we can maybe bump that down to 50 for real. It is kind of weird. 100 that. billion, 100 million. 100 million. You got to be dastardly. Yeah, all the people who like, make wait, money wait, wait, off You can like win the lottery, though. You got to like win the lottery people. for like, you know what I'm saying? I, niggas that call. win the lottery ain't holding on to, don't got a $100 million net worth within the year. Yo, I don't understand that. But you you know how much money I would just have consistently in my bank account if I wanted bruh, $500 million? I would say, take all the taxes out of the gate. Just take all the taxes out and give me whatever. Yeah, bro. Put that shit in a high-yield savings account, bro. The interest is fucking... Yeah, how do you blow uh, that? Bro, just, bruh. just by being <laughs> poor and financial literacy is See, not taught that's... in schools, bro. What, we got geometry, algebra mm -hmm. one, two, and three, calculus, no financial literacy. Yeah, I'm I'm literally when we were talking about um, that's true. You got to learn Euclid. You shit. could be good for the rest of your life off that money, man. Bro, when we were talking about you know paying kids for chores and like reading books, I'm bro. I'm dead ass going to give my kids like a 401k match. Like I'll give you five dollars for this and I'll put five dollars away for that. That's what I, I did that with him too. And then yeah. like anything he bought, like like when he saved up and paid for his uh, his weed. And I, he would give me the money, I'd pay for mm -hmm. it and put that money away. So it's like he'd say, mm -hmm. and then every time Has he, that ever backfired? And every time he made money, like anytime he got birthday money or any, any, or I paid him for anything, he also had to give me 20% off the top mm -hmm. for what I would call it taxes. And I yeah. put that aside. So, he, but what you if know, your son it, it, like, it didn't add up to shit because I didn't do anything with it except leaving an envelope for 15 yeah. years. Well, you but, just put it in a physical place? <laughs> 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 what the uh, fuck? You didn't put it in the yeah. What if y'all get robbed? You could have bought <laughs> NVIDIA. 
You could have bought Apple. Oh, oh my God. I know, dude. It's just like, I know. He's like, how much I got? He's like, the exact same amount as last yeah. time. How funny is <laughs> Did you walk out and lift up the rock? And he was like, is that how you gave him his allowance? Oh, my God. That's <laughs> crazy. How much I got? I have, I'm not less. financially literate. That was. That's, that's so adorable, yeah. man. But it's like. Because it's, it's good intentions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, is, that is how they used to save money. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in a <laughs> jar <laughs> under an old floorboard. Like, this is our money right here. This is all the money we ever had. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh. You know. But yeah, but even then, it's just kind of like, <laughs> mm. I want. I do want my kids to have good money skills. Because that is most of the freedom. That's even, that's most of my freedom to be able to even try as hard as I do. It's just like, bro, I've. Nigga, it ain't never mattered how much money I was making. I always put some shit away. You know what I mean? Yes. Always put some shit away. In a little Acorns account, you know, a fucking mutual fund, something. I got, bro, I, you have to do something with it. Yeah. Because it is part of it was just kind of like, you, you're going you're gonna to buy the bullshit no fucking way. You can't be without this t- however much this week. You know what I mean? I spent my month. 20s trying to get to zero. My thing was get out of debt, get yeah. to zero. And yeah. that's what that's I'm how, trying to do as smart. Yeah. Huh? That's what I'm trying to do as well. It's just kind of, you and know. And didn't you get your house during COVID? Like, didn't you? Um, yeah, we moved out there during COVID. Anybody that got a house during COVID is like, right, they royalty, bro. Them interest rates so fucking low. 2.8, 2.9% interest rates, bro. Oh, Jesus I don't got a mortgage, crazy. Bro. Oh, so you good. Yeah, bro. You just got a house. And yeah. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> He'll be here renting. He's like, he's like, I'm leaving my apartment. I said, like, going where? How old are Another you? apartment. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm no like, bro. Nah. But I mean, it is, and even then, it's just kind of like. How long did you live in an apartment for? Um, I stayed with my brother for about a, about a year. Then I think I stayed on my own for about three or four years. Look at that. Yeah once, yeah, once COVID happened, it was definitely time to get a house. Yeah, bro. Just because you were like, this is it. They're never going to be this cheap again or whatever? No, nah, because uh, Sierra's apartment had caught on fire. So she was she needed a place to be. And I'm like, why would you stay with me? But then it was just so cramped in a fucking one bedroom, one bathroom. I was like, we're going to get a fucking house. Like, this fucking... I'm, not, I'm not going to another apartment. And we just got super lucky with the interest rates. Because the lady we were talking to, she was like, my, my interest rate for my house was like 11%. Yeah, she bought like she bought. Did she bought in nineteen eighty three. She bought a mean? long time ago. She was older. I mean, she was about your age. But like yeah. she, <laughs> she was like her. And my brothers, he just bought one after us, and his his interest rate is like seven seven percent. Yeah, or something like that. So I mean, it, I just it, hate how we have like our system is set up that you have to pay a certain amount because you bought it a certain time. It's literally like well, it's different astrology. It bounces, it bounces astrology. out, though. It bounces out because you yeah. got low interest rates. You got to offer more. Like, houses were coming and going the same day. Yeah. Like, we're trying to find a place to stay. Houses are coming. People are buying houses sight unseen because they flippers. So the Mexicans, the Mexicans come in, right? And they mm. get all the... <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't be real on this podcast, bro. <laughs> it's, it's them. It's them. It's the, me- the me- And y'all know who y'all are, but don't act like y'all, y'all doing good. Like, it ain't nothing bad. Uh, the Mexicans come in, they got all supplies, all the you know the manual labor. All re- it's all it's on deck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They go to IKEA, spend like twenty, thirty grand, go to the house, boom, 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 fi- change some shit, change some lights, paint, put that bitch right back on the market for fifty grand more within like a week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the houses were going like that so fucking fast. Mm-hmm. So that and also like the house was listed. Our house was like listed at one sixty. We just offered two hundred just to like have a say. Yeah. Because you couldn't offer no like one sixty one, you know what I'm saying? Like people are pretty much bidding on houses. Like, yeah. I'll I'll pay you forty, fifty over to get the house. Because a lot of times they want to flip it anyway. Yeah, we try to find a place to live and nobody give a fuck. <laughs> you know, what I mean, that's just that's just what it was. We were going we were going up against doctors. Damn. So how long before the value of the house catches up to how much you overpaid for it? Or is hey, it now I'm immediately already, worth? I'm that? already I'm already good. I was mm-hmm. I was good the first year. Now I, I, the value of my house now, according to Redfin, is I like two hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, I just feel like all that shit's made up. 
Like it is whatever. You know what I mean? Like I look I at my like house. I feel like the stock market's made up. I put my money in an envelope <laughs> and I watch that shit. I make sure that shit don't fucking move. I trust that. I trust a bunch of twenty dollar bills and quarters just sitting in a jar, I mean, just just stable there for me every day in case I need it. <laughs> Nvidia, Nvidia shot up three thousand percent yes. in the past five years yeah yeah in my defense in my defense eight months ago i was like oh and you got to get some nvidia this company's going places <laughs> and he's like you told me to play baseball and now i gotta buy nvidia <laughs> <laughs> if bro, my homeboy has been they've been my homeboy been stacking nvidia since he worked at applebee's he got a six-figure job now working for a, a big bank he's been buying nvidia the whole time bro he is Good. He bought it. This is why. This is why I'm so into the shit now. I've yeah, had but then it I've could had, crash, though, right? No. Bro. Nvidia for the fucking. That's game. what everybody thought well, like, in the twenties. They're in, like, no, we're fine. Nvidia and then, for the gaming computers. The Nvidia yeah. that's like. It's they the big. Like, it's the, the biggest company in the world right now. They're the number one for AI. Is AI crashing? AI. AI already is at the floor of like it can't get worse. Yeah. The, and really. All they did for AI was just make it like a super, 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 super good Google. It's like it's like it's like a super good Google right now. That's all. That's really what the floor is. Yeah. It ain't never gonna get worse than that. It's on. It's only up from here. We ain't. T- we ain't. There, t- there, we ain't sounds t- like t- a lot of guys in the twenties. They're 20s. gonna run into issues Man, with you power are wilding, bro. We ain't, it, but see, he's the guy who's like GPS. <laughs> I like my map. <laughs> I put out a good old fashioned map. Big ass map that when you open it, you can't see, map. you can't drive no more. Oh, <laughs> uh, so we're driving. You gotta now. pull over to use a map, bro. I gotta keep buying new colored markers. You're just des- <laughs> you're describing no, you're describing my me. life, dude. <laughs> opening the map. And then I and then I'm I had not- G- then I had GPS for long enough that when my, my wife would be like, "Stop using GPS. It's on your phone." And I'm like, "Nah, I like this. This is right here. I don't have to pick up my." And yeah, it's, it's um, hanging on for shit for five long, five years too many. You know, bro. I'm telling you, man. Like. My homie says, and he's he's real big to stop mortgage, but he was like, every generation has like a once in a lifetime investment opportunity, and this AI thing is it. Right. If you not if you, it's just and this is where society divides, bro. The people the people that invested in Walmart and the people that didn't invest in Walmart, the people that invested, you know, what I'm like this. Yeah. That's that's where this shit changes. I don't want my great great grandkids being like, man, why are we poor? Yeah. Right. And then it come back to me some kind of way because I just didn't buy Nvidia when I had the chance. I'm like, nah, bro, I got all that shit. Yeah, I got bro. all that shit, and I'm like, I got my shit in a drawer. And I'm like, I've missed, I've missed Apple, I missed Google. Apple. That's I missed Facebook. That's but you also I missed, missed Enron. You missed, uh, you missed a lot of dumb <laughs> shit too, dude. Like that's the thing. Like you, you got to think me, of that. I'm not saying be wild with it and buy everything, but you got, yeah. you mean you got to know like. As a as a as a gamer, basic you know research like, will tell you there's seven yeah. companies. Nintendo, and that is Nintendo, kinda, Sony, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Microsoft, like everybody got an everybody had an Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why are we thinking this was a is that a bad investment? Yeah. And technology never goes backwards. It just Don't. feels like you're literally gambling on like stuff in the world. Yeah. Like it's but, like, but oh, what's what, the over under on this company? It just it's the same thing. That's how yeah. I feel. But I've me, always looked at it like a big craps table. But here well, once me we out. all get our money in there, they're just they just And clean then but house. it's like a craps table, but there's a lot of people there who know the dealer and know what's know where it's gonna but roll. Yeah, well, they see, know all, the how fast is, the wheel I mean, spins. But it's like gambling as far as like in like like playing cars type shit is based on nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's based on chance. absolutely nothing. It's based but on it's based on odds and math. Yeah, but it is kind of where I guess it is, there is an argument with the stock market. Where it is, is based off of how these companies do perform. But also tomorrow they could release a thing. Oh yeah, Google has been grinding up babies since it started, and then their stock yeah. goes down. Now you have mo- it no money. It, this what it do. Yeah, that's, that's what it do. I, that was crazy. But also, I do my that's hand. why. But I'm like that's. Like, <laughs> it, it it goes. It it it, it, it just. It was, it, people love their money. Yeah, nigga. but some people don't survive in the little divot part right there. Bro, like same thing, bro, same thing with COVID. Everybody's like, oh, my God. We're oh, fucked. the you market can, dipped. I'm can, okay. Yeah, but watch like, so shit. many people died. You can watch that shit drop when COVID happened. Everybody's selling because they think it's over. Yeah. The people that held on and gathered all that shit up that everybody sold on, 
skyrocketed now. Yeah. You just it, it everything's just, going to balance out, especially, especially with technology. I'm not saying invest in like a new cure or something yeah, that's yeah. like it, it, something that could be awesome. I'm saying invest in short things like technology. That shit does not go backwards. You're see, never going to see a TV that's smaller and less pixels. We're not doing that. It's yeah. always bigger, higher definition. Bigger, higher definition. Whatever you, whatever your TV costs now in six months is half off. Because that's, that's just how fast we're doing this shit. Yeah. And that's why NVIDIA is shooting up so fast. See, I usually, I just invest. I don't invest in singular things. I invest in... Diversify. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, with the mutual fund, it's just kind of like it's just ran by people who know what they're doing. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is diverse enough where it's just like, all right, you got some bonds somewhere mixed in there. You got, you know, things that kind of stabilize, you know, kind of stabilize it. And, you know, you can't kind of choose the degree of, like, riskiness with most of them. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you even dumber reason why I don't invest overall. Because I just feel like it, overall, I feel like it's destructive. To, to us and to mankind and to the country. So I don't want to participate in that. I know that's, it's, I, it's, there's, there is part of that. Like It's like one of the things that ends up cutting people's salaries and cutting people's health care and cutting these things is because you're so invested in the stock market, which is, which is in cutting your job. The idea behind how they generate profits would be in cutting workers, cutting uh, salaries, cutting benefits for workers. So you're investing in your own demise and it makes our whole country based on it, it it's based on greed and get more and that shit is that's a that that is a terrible principle to have as your core principle as a person as a nation as a that's why it but it, it in the long run i don't that's <laughs> Go ahead. Get rid of me for that. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for somebody to say. I mean, I ain't doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Because I'm like, it is. I mean, I hear you. Dead ass. I hear you. It's part of why we're such a shitty group of people in our country. Because yeah. we're the whole foundation is based on greed and everybody get more. It's why we have a shitty government. It's why we have a shitty country. That's a, that's a philosophical ideology. Yeah. Egoism. Is it egoism? I think what everybody, they're trying to say, Tom, does. is they recognize that that's the case, but it is also the case. So, so get over it. Yeah, like, so, I don't want to get yeah. fucked. I mean, that's kind of how we're, I am just kind of like, all right, you know, if I do, I don't know. I do, I do hear you where it's just like, all right, I don't like these things and how corporations control shit. But I am just kind of like, in a very weird microcosm sense, I am just like, you know what? I can leverage, I can leverage these niggas being evil mm. to help me <laughs> escape it. Yeah, you're wrong. Mm. But you're, I don't. You're, like, no, I I like, I'm coming around like, to how both you guys feel on this because I'm like, I want to start like doing. Yeah, but I'm also I'm like, like, but I'm also like, it's the hope i the the feeling that feeling of how i feel mm -hmm. like about came from when i was y'all's age and i'm like yeah. fuck that i'm not going to participate in that my, mm -hmm. my life i'm going to yeah. you know see we still we still mulling it over you know what i'm saying like yeah. we had a bunch of ideas in our 20s and i'm i'm going to pick the best one for me when i'm like stable cuz like yeah. if, if i had if i'm going to keep i'm keep out with you if i didn't have sierra and i didn't have comedy i i could have moved back home yeah. you know what i'm saying if if i if that wasn't an option I could I start robbing people. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't we don't know where we would be, baby. Like I'm just like I'm not going to go hungry. That's facts. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, saying. for me, it's just kind of like I don't know. I'm uh. This is. I want money now because now I can do it because okay, okay, okay. if I have the bag, then I can do comedy at all but I want. Here's yeah. a, you know, that's, that's really all I care and, about. And, and, oh. it, money just makes things easier. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's, not it's, it's a tool. It's, yes. We got we to stop. We got to stop being this fucking. It, it, I don't know how I feel, but it's like for me, it's like that old like it's that old uh, just oh, no, don't do that. This is like yeah. old superstition type yeah. shit. It is like money's not weird. evil. Guns aren't bad. You know what I'm saying? Like these are just things. I, I can, it's kind of like this, don't corrupt you. It is this weird paradox where I'm kind of like, I want enough money to no longer need it. 
You know right. what I mean? But what where what's that level? Because every time well, you get more, me, every time you get more, you look, people just want more. I know. Like and uh, <laughs> and part of me is just kind of like, you know, there probably is no genuine escape from it other than just kind of like because even I can escape it as much as I want to, grow my own food, collect rainwater. I can do all this shit. I still gotta pay property taxes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like either either way, I gotta pay for insurance. You know what I mean? Yes. I got to, you know, all this stuff. You know, I still want to have to purchase things and interact with the system. It's like it's, it's once you get into the other, the, whatever the other side is of like why things cost they do, cost the amount they do, you start seeing this shit. It's like my granddad was always like, man, cut them a break on the ramp. I'm like, they're not, nobody's cutting you a break. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like whenever you need something, something fixed on the house or the insurance, yeah, my or grandma's the taxes, like that. nobody's cutting you a break. So the only person hurting now is you. Yeah, mm-hmm. my, my grandma's that way with like some of the people that um, she rents to. Cutting bra- it, cutting Where's, a break doesn't it doesn't help it doesn't like, help the the vendor or the, the person. Yeah, and it, is, it just doesn't help. And it is just kind of like, you know, I do understand it where it is just kind of like my grand like where I live, it is very big on like but we are a community. You know what I mean? Like that's our town is very big on that. We have a lot of just, Community. there's a lot of opportunities to interact with the other people that live in the town. Like, that's a big thing there. Oh. You know? So it is just kind of like, uh, like the, the dude that was renting one of the houses, it was just kind of, he got into like, like two car wrecks, like within a year, like two bad car wrecks. Was he driving? Yeah, it wasn't his fault, but he was, I mean, he was driving. Yes. But they both weren't his fault. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know. Yeah, I was with like, you. I was like, take away his license. Like Maybe that. help him out like that. I'm just saying, like, because <laughs> he just like, I mean, he just drives a he drives a motorcycle. You okay. know what I mean? So it's just like, yeah, which is crazy in and of itself. Yeah. But he lived twice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like I, he's still, it's he's crazy to get back on it. He dropped like, by the other day. I'm like, bro. I'm dropped. like, you gotta sell this motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> Give me for sell them. I was like, oh, give me my rent in advance, but you gotta get a car. Or if you you cannot know you can no longer live here. Yeah. If you keep riding this <laughs> fucking death machine. But this nigga, you know, but it's like, but also it is just like the it's a different value system out there where it is just kind of like he fixed up the house himself. He mows he mows his yard and he mows the empty lot next to it that we own. Yeah. So it's just like, and then it's just like we never got a like if he calls us, it's something big. And we do, you know, and it's it's just kind of it's a very self-reliant but that's a area. Very, that's a very unique situation. It is very unique, but it is just kind of like, all right, you know, he got into those two accidents. You gotta help the guy that cut your grass for free. Well, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, and it's, so it's, it's like he, like when he got into those accidents, my grandma let him live there like rent free for like a year, and then he started, you know, that's a grip. Yeah. What does that but mean? Is, that's a long. What does man, that mean? That's a long time. A long, a long time. Okay. A long time. And it is, and you know, and my grandma was, we started charging them rent again just because it was just like, you know, we're paying taxes on it. I think once you see him up riding the motorcycle around again, you're like, okay, time to start paying. Yeah, <laughs> well, the house caught on fire, so. But, okay, but I, just hear me out, bro. This yeah. guy has too many coincidences happening around him with bro, the fires and accidents. You got two, two car accidents and your house catch on fire in, within a year? Well, all this didn't happen within a year. The accident, that was like maybe two years ago. All right, okay. Hey, man, you, you can better than me, bro. Yeah, I mean, he he don't live there now, obviously. We will just shit, man. But, you know, the damage was... You're victim blaming over there. I, yeah. I, I, I but, and, you know, it's all, you know, it's whatever. You know what I mean? Because he was just kind of like, he'll fix it up himself. If we, whenever the insurance money comes, he was like, you know, if you buy the materials, I'll fix it. Yeah. So, you know, it is just like, do that. You know what yeah. I mean? It is, and it, it is a, a very unique situation. It's you not got like somebody that. like that that can actually... You know, add value and effectively yeah. maintain the property is a whole different story. Yeah, because it mean, is just kind of like you're taking care of most of our maintenance. But I'm, well, you kind of work here. But I know, I know, <laughs> in a yeah. lot of a lot of people. Yeah, that that's rent, a salary. You yeah. know, it's, if but I'm saying if you got for if you got like a single mother with kids. Yeah. You paying for labor? You paying for somebody to come out there and work yeah. on some stuff? So I mean, so you had you would have no interest in doing what we were talking about earlier about like you buy a house in a neighborhood where. Where, where, where it helped people, they could really go to a good school, and then you... Well, he said it was fine. He said just, if I was able to rent that house for the a comparable rate for the area, I got no problem with that. But if I'm 
trying to cut a deal to get somebody in that wouldn't normally be able to get in. Lift people up. You don't want to, you want to know part that's of that. That's not going to. Yeah. But see, Tom, you're talking to a person with no savings, no money, <laughs> yeah. no responsibility. See, also, it is you live half your life on a boat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you live, you are, you are talking about something that, yeah. bro. I'm can, not doing can, it either. I, so can I, can talk, I can talk to Goo about it. He's like, yeah, the, the, the property taxes, the insurance, the fucking, yeah, bro. The, the random. The I own random a house. What are you talking can, about? But see, I, I re- to be honest, I really don't know your situation. Like you halfway divorced, <laughs> you on this boat, but you still going to all your son's games. I don't. Your son like twenty five. No, he I not. don't. I don't get it. By the way, he's getting ready to go to. Hey, do you do you uh do you, Owen's school? The coach quit. I don't, I don't. So he's in the portal. Do you know anything about the portal in sports? Yeah. So he's. It would be so funny if Trundy got that coaching job. <laughs> yeah. Trundy's like, I heard about that opening. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody called me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you got me sweating over here. I'm I, so nervous, man. Why? Because my money's just sitting in the bank. Well, it's it's it's, it's better than what you said earlier about just putting it in a place <laughs> in a rock. <laughs> I did. I did used to have like a water jug filled with coins. <laughs> like I saved all my silver. And I would not spend my ones, and I would also put them in there, and then, you know, and then you get broke, and you got to break that shit open and and go put it in the bank or whatever. Yeah. I think you should start referring to that money as your retirement. I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. It just, just makes you feel better that so. it's that I have a retirement. Yeah, man. Cause yeah. I'm like, oh, listen, your son gonna be fine. I've seen your son. Your son's gonna be okay. Some woman will take care of him <laughs> for the rest of his life. He gonna be fine. He's got a lifetime of of, of earning potential. He's gonna yeah. Be fine. He gonna be fine. Yeah. I don't worry about you. I'm fine. I'm scared, man. What do you mean? I don't know. I was even thinking about like just here's my thing. When you when you get older and you start to like miss a step, nobody's there to like really tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're like you're on the road doing your thing. So if like something was a little bit off, you wouldn't recognize it until like, I don't know, I see you and I'm like, man, Tom told me the same story twice in a row. That hasn't happened yet? Not yet, but I'm just okay. saying, like when it gets to that point, that's when I'm like, oh man, who's gonna say something to him? Chase, just go ahead and say something to me. But are you going to remember it? I hope not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I've, I've dealt with that before. I'm like, yo, hey, granddad, something going on. He's like, yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, yeah. My and then reti- I see him again. I'm like, he's like, hey, Zach. I'm like, oh, here, here yeah. we go. My retirement plan is to not live past I'm 75. Don't say that. <laughs> Why? You want to live a long time. That's a long time. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's plenty. Just- but how, how old are you now? I'm getting closer than I want to be. You know what I'm saying? No, so, yeah. no, 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 don't do that. Don't but do that. Don't I, do that. I'm, I'm good with now. No, 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 no. What do you mean? I want you to be like a hundred. I want to be here, but I. but I. hundred and twenty. No, yeah, I'm just, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, no, I'm thinking, no, fuck, no, what? No. That'll be, that'll be the new 60. <laughs> hundred and twenty. <laughs> I wasn't listening, and then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I want you to be old. How, how, like, how long would you like to live? As long as I'm, as long as I'm able to take care of myself, honestly, yeah. that's that's, that's the, the the truest answer. As so long how long will hundred thousand dollars last? That's how long I need. Whatever I mean, that is. It is I'm good. I, my big my biggest thing is I don't I, any money I saved up, don't spend that money on care for me if I can't. Oh yeah. Do anything. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm like yo, somebody yeah. take it, spend it. Just you know, do whatever you want with it. Almost. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make sure. I used to think. If I ever get sick, get can't like it's it's anti like I'm getting divorced. You so you, they can't take my house, and mm-hmm. you guys can have it. Like that was my plan. There's no, you know, maybe some life insurance. Okay, yeah. but yeah, I'm, whatever, dude. It's I I don't believe that there's many generations of humans that are gonna be living and dealing with fucking money in the first place for much longer. So I think it's all. I don't I think, think I don't I think, think you're wrong. I, don't I think, think shit's wrong. getting yeah. bad. So I'm just, I'm on I'm on that just in case shit. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, in case, case y'all niggas still need it. There's like this uh uh like African like belief like philosophy or whatever that it's like uh, you're reborn as your own great grandson or whatever or oh, great yeah? grandchild. So you know, so it's like whatever whatever you do in this life is going to have an impact on your next life. You know what I mean? Mm. So it is just kind of like, all right, bro, you know, you can fuck up now, but then it's just like, phew, you betting on three generations you don't got control of to make sure you straight. You know what I mean? When you can just go ahead and be like, all right, I'm straight. 
I'm going to teach my kids how to be straight. Financial gonna, literacy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're going to teach their kids how to be straight. Or I'm going to teach their kids how to be straight and then smack them niggas for not saying nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. But my cousin was keeping all his money in a shoebox until like legit yeah. about 18 months ago. Mm. Just like, just like, I, he never, but he just never What do you go, a, shoebox to what? He got, he got a, a checking account, savings account. He finally went, went to the bank and got one. Yeah, but so like the shoebox at the uh, bank. I'm just when yeah. you're at when you live for a lot to, a lot of time at zero, you don't need a bank, <laughs> right? Like so I, I need whatever I got. Like, I, like, like, time, I'm, I'm, now I'm going. I'm, I got now. There's a step between me getting my thirty dollars. You know, it's what I'm saying? Just like, like your first half. Your first half. I'm like with you, man. I'm like I'm fully with the sentence. And then your second half is just crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like he said. He said a lot of times you live life at zero, and I'm with you. You don't need a bank. <laughs> and then I'm like, man, that part's crazy. That part, no, anything, anything that will generate extra money, I don't care if it's 37 cents. I don't buy that. I don't like, I don't, I, don't, I know that's, I don't just. But that's how it, that's how it, yeah. that's how you start accumulating something. Yeah, See, my I'm whole saying. thing is, I'm not like. You know how many, how many decades the interest rate was like zero at a bank, right? And have yeah. you guys not had banking accounts since like okay, 2000? Okay, listen, 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 I can speak for me and go out. We don't know nothing about that zero. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know nothing about it, Tom. Yeah, we, we've we always seen a number. Point so, zero, 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 four. Like that's what they were until interest rates have started going up. When it, before, like around the Obama, from Obama on, like there, you weren't getting anything putting it in a bank. And, yeah, and that's unfortunate. And I'm, I feel bad for people at that time that couldn't make money off of that. But I'm saying now, <laughs> these accounts are giving you like 4.7, 4.8%. Yeah. Just go ahead. If, if you, know, you say if you, you got it, already stole it away, just put it in yeah. there and let it work for you. Yeah. And every time you check, you're like, I got more than last time. You didn't do anything. You kept telling jokes. You kept being funny. You kept, That's what I'm doing. You kept recycling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, <laughs> and let the money just be evil in the background for you. Yeah. You don't got to feel it. It's like, I know, I know it's good advice to like eat vegetables and drink water and stop smoking. I get it. But it's like, do I follow it? I, I should. I don't. Same thing with the money. It's like, you always hear, don't work for your money. Let your money work for you. And you don't know what that means when you're poor. But the moment you start investing and you start seeing that, like, oh, damn, I made... I, I made um, just for example, like, oh, I made $500 a week just off of, like... Yeah. And even if you, you know, a lot of them will show you, like, what you put in, like, how much of what you have is actually interest and how much of it is actually what you physically put in. And even then, it's just kind of like, oh, damn. Like, as I scale this, it's going to, you know... It's just yeah. whoever you are. Yeah. Every, but I, everybody my shit on automated, earth, bro. Everybody on earth wastes money. You know, who yeah. you are. So, if you, like, if you a starving artist, as opposed to, like... Buying that sack of weed, like Goo, I was talking about earlier, put, put a little bit away, put anything yeah. away. You know but what also, I did? If, what you, I, like, if you really want to do you this buy shit that, for a long time, did you buy time. that Nike shirt right there? Probably. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, you, you gotta got, shut the fuck you, up. You are contributing so, bro. It's a Chinese baby that tried to jump out of a building and got yeah. caught by a net. <laughs> You're right, bro. You ever, you ever been accidentally saved by a net? <laughs> No. <laughs> Accidentally saved, bro. No. <laughs> Come on, bro. You're doing that, bro. The, the worst form of torture, bro. Being accidentally saved? Being accidentally saved? I'm, bro, I'm. What do you mean? I'm seven. It's and I'm literally like, to, oh, we got you. Back I'm to ready work. to let go. I'm like, bro, I'm ready to die today. You can't make that decision at seven. Bro, oh, you, you can't if you make that shirt. Okay. Well, I mean. Child labor used to be a thing in the United States too, and we weren't jumping out of windows. You know what I'm saying? We were because yeah, they, they were burning in them. Yeah, it was all ranch style factories. Yeah, yeah they, they were like, they were like, jump. they were like, the Chinese got it wrong. Yeah, bro. They was like, Keep oh, you want everybody wanna... on one floor? On the first, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. They was like, but if this bitch get catch, if this bitch catch fire, we locking these doors. Because on some real shit, in, our factories were all the workers on the floor, managers were up top mm -hmm. to make sure nobody fleed. Yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> So as far as like as far as like uh, it's going back to my finances and bad decision, but I feel like it was a good decision the way I made to pay off my house early. Oh, yeah, a thousand percent. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. in in reality, right, I I'm losing interest deduction and all these things that I could have been taking for more and more years once I paid it off. So what's the I don't I didn't know the balance, but I just was like any extra penny I had, I paid towards my mortgage because I was like 
people yeah. buy houses for 160,000 and they're like and I'm smart. selling it for 240. Look how much I made. No, yeah. you paid 320 for your house. Exactly. By the time you paid off the like you yeah. look at your mortgage and like you're saying that they show you the interest. Mm -hmm. The first 10 years was nothing but interest. But interest. Yeah. And I'm yeah, still owe the same and I was like fuck that, I'm paying that off. Yeah, there have been like um I had to when we had to get our bathroom remodeled when we first moved in and I so I got a loan to fucking get it. And um they like they straight up said in the fucking thing, like your first three payments is like it's not even don't even think it's going to the principal. Right. Those first three payments are interest. Just pay that minimum. And then if you want to do more and really chip away at that principal, wait till after those our three lawyer, months. Our lawyer was specific with us. He was like, listen, if you pay in the minimum, you're paying this much for the house over this amount of time. He said, if you can pay anything over the minimum, make sure you add that every month to get this house paid off reasonably because i think i think it was like we we're gonna pay like three or four hundred thousand dollars for the house if we just pay the minimum yeah and that's how they and that's i don't i guess i don't know if lawyers were doing that just being like i'll oh, pay the minimum you'll be fine i don't know what kind of monsters those were they have no dog in the fight the advice to get all that money and just pay every extra cent towards a mortgage is the best thing you can do that's yeah. what i did yeah, I, I heard i heard some high level stuff about like nah don't pay it all because I've heard that before. I don't. I, don't, that's, but I feel like for that's the too average much for, me. for the average person getting it paid, I'm also, zero balance on everything is good. I like listen to and I read a lot of like Dave Ramsey stuff like during, over the pandemic, <laughs> and right. uh, but it is you know I don't you know I'm not fucking I don't dot my eyes and cross my t's on everything he says, but it is there are some general principles that he talks about where it is just kind of like you know saving and investing shouldn't be this thing you do extra it should be a part of your financial diet yeah the same way like it should be a habit and like, the the quicker and the easier you can make it a habit for yourself uh -huh. the better off you'll be over time because even now it's just like i have every monday and every friday i have money taken out of my account into like a basically a mutual fund and then on fridays i have money taken out to go into uh basically an ira you know okay. So it's just oh, like yeah, IRAs are great. Yeah, and I, every week, every week, every Monday and Friday, I know that money's going out. I My can, tax guy used to say, "You make sure you put the the max every year before taxes." Yeah, in and your it's IRA. just like, and I'm just like, motherfucker, I don't have an extra penny to spend. Yeah, I, I, like, and it is part no of no way I'm putting like twenty five hundred dollars in a year away. I'm I'm barely paying my bills. Like my yeah. wife's my wife's going to a going to go into a restaurant to pee so she doesn't flush the toilet because she thinks that's going to save us money, like that kind of shit, you know? Yeah, like, and it's like, because uh, it's like, bro, I'm not doing extraordinarily well, but I've spent long enough, and I, I my family, we're not rich at all. You guys are way smart. I, you guys are putting But it is like, but also it's like, my grandma, my dad, my grandma, her parents, they were all like, you know, not, they knew how to work together, A, you know what I'm saying? They all work together, and they and when they got whatever they needed, they did everything with the intention of we need to have something that's going to last us beyond our lifetime. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. It. My family did. A, we had a strict everybody go their own ways policy. Yeah, and this is like if every that's, man for himself. Every man for himself. <laughs> See, but that's how that's every, how family, ship. every family for himself. Every you know what I'm saying that's like, rough. but that's how most families are, you yes. know. And even you, it's just like, but you notice like the culture, as I, which it, I like it your method. Racial, better. but it's really not racial. But yeah. like, if you notice in the communities, I'm, I'm really talking about Hispanic and like Asian, the communities where they work together and like pool their money and have discipline. They, I, I know at least for my county, there's one Mexican family that does everything. They will build you a house. They will sell you a house. They'll freaking they'll they'll get you a new roof, plumbing, electric. They they, they can every, anything involving real estate. They got somebody in the family that, that can do that. it, and they rake up, dude. They, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say monopoly, but I mean they they super well known. They do super good work, mm -hmm. and they're all dedicated to this dream of like we're not going to be poor anymore. Yeah, and that's you know, I feel like that's the biggest thing just in general, where it is just like. You know, my grandma, especially ever since we moved out to where we live, because my grandma lives across the street, and she's always been big on, like, you have to work together. And, you know, yeah. like, you she, you have to. Because even she was talking about, you know, my grandpa was, you know, a fair amount older than her. So by the time she married my grandpa, you know, he already had land and shit like that. 
So, but he, but it was still just kind of like just because he already has land and already you know has been working a good job and was in the military and all that, that doesn't mean that I can't contribute. And it's like if we're gonna do something, hey, we should be able to do it together. So we don't need outside help. Not saying that you know they didn't get help from people. You know what I mean? Right. But it is just like, is your great grandpa still alive? Nah, it's you're, just my grandpa. You're him. Yeah, high key though. <laughs> the new one. You're the new one. Because it is, and that's <laughs> kind of what I've been trying to push in general, like with, like, like within my own home, where it's just kind of like, even like we we got to be doing. We it, it is a joint effort to for me to try to fight my financial battles by myself, and you fight your financial battles by yourself. We're not getting nowhere. But I'm like, if we can find a way where it's just like, all right, she has these skills where it's like, you, she has the skills to start a business, to sell, to do multiple things. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of like focus on one and then branch out. You know what I mean? I have, the, I got the same thing. I'm actually trying to build out and figure out, all right, well, how can I, how can I build a system of things or basically a system of assets on top of what my family has already worked for? Because it's like, all my, we don't got no like cash money. All we got is land. But it's just like, all right, well, us just having the blessing of, all right, my great granddaddy thought about me. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He thought about me. My son is growing up in the same house my granddaddy grew up in. You okay. know what I mean? It just kind of like the, A, just, if people even just dish it like that, where it's just so many times people will, like their parents will die. Oh, let's just sell the fucking house. Grandma died. And let's just sell the fucking house. I was gonna and then on. wonder why they people get in these conundrums two generations later. Where I'm just like, well, we never. It's a rule in my family that we can't sell this house. It is a rule in my family. If you if you get this house, this house does not leave this family. Oh, okay. That's a rule. It's been the rule. You know what I mean? And there's other. We have other properties that are like that where it's just like. Has anybody ever broke that rule? I'm sure there has. <laughs> you know what I mean? And even then, like, there's, you know, there's some properties where we're kind of like, you know, we've kind of just been holding on to it. And then it's just like, all right, someone, someone really wants it or really needs it and is willing to pay for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then it's just kind of, all right, you know, we'll do that. We're, we're big on helping people because it is just kind of like, but we live in a small ass town. It's 1,200 people in our town. You know what I mean? It sounds like that after makes my after hometown look like a metropolis, boy. Yeah. I got like 300. Yeah, well, well, that's like all the. <laughs> there are twelve hundred people that are eligible for a post office box oh, okay. in our town, because our, our the town is only like two miles wide. You have right? to be eligible for a post office box. Yeah, you gotta live in town limits. Yeah, yeah, you have to live in whatever limits that serve a certain post office box. But I was gonna say real quick up there. I don't think so. Like, uh, when I lived I'm, in my motorhome, I just had a random post office box in Florida. Yeah, but did you have an address when you got that post office box? I lived in North Carolina, I, 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 I think. I, oh, well, they, they wouldn't let me get a P.O. box until I had proof that I lived, like, in that area. Oh. But I was like, I'm living in my motorhome. This is, this is where all my mail's coming. And yeah. they were going to, they mailed it to me once a month or whatever. But yeah. just real quick, let's talk about the land, right? Yeah. This is a perfect example. My uncle, when they were spending everything up, my granddad passed away. But they split before that, but. My uncle took a shit ton of land. He got like 100 acres or something like that. And everybody was kind of concerned, like, yo, we got property. You got land. You can be okay with that. He's like, I'll be fine. He turned right around, built a racetrack. Just, but it's just like, just an idea like that. He loves racing. He knows a bunch of people that, that love to race. Mm -hmm. He's making, you know, three to $7,000 a weekend or an event, really, just by letting people use his land. Like, you can yeah. always find a way to utilize something. Useful. And what Goo I said was, true a lot of times people are just doing so bad they get handed down something let's just sell it yeah because they want that it. quick let's, flip let's get, let's get that quick money in our pocket and they blow it and, they, and then they still working a job yeah like, yeah i yeah. don't want to sell my house and, I, and I want versus, it that's why i want it but, and i don't want that i'd rather take save money and either put it pay cash to fix the thing up that uh -huh. i have or or buy the next thing so yeah. that's sort of how i'm doing because it. it is i don't know i don't think people really understand how much that shit could really change your situation or at least uh put you on the path to changing your situation because it is just kind of like when we were living in the apartment when uh when my girl got pregnant it was just kind of like you know our rent was finna go up why were you ever living in an apartment when you had a house that your family was willing to give oh you? they were someone was already renting it 
Someone was renting it. Oh, they renting the property, and you got to kind of wait. But you got and you got to kind of wait till it frees up to be. Now, do you rent it from someone, or do they? Does it just become your property? No, it's, it's just mine. Well, who who were they paying rent to before? My grandma. So now your grandma just was like, okay, now this. Is well, like, I guess like there is like a, a LLC structure, I believe that you know, kind of. You know, I'm kind of. So your so your grandma just now she makes. Whatever that rent was, she just doesn't get that now. I mean, yeah, but I mean, the is the house is getting willed to me. Okay. So it is just kind of like I'm still going to be responsible for whatever okay. is going on. You know what I mean? It's it's family land. I'm I'm family. Right. But right. also, I do kind of you know I help out with whatever, like whenever she needs help, whether it's with her house or. Whatever it else. It seems weird you know that you'd mean? go pay rent when you could have had a play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like well, anybody, anybody in your family really would be like. Yeah. See, and that is, you know, the whole thing was just kind of like, you know, my dad didn't want to live in that town no more. And it's like, I feel you grew up in this small town. Yeah, you want to go. Yeah, go somewhere else. You know, so it's like I do get that. And, you know, you know, I don't really knock him for that. But it is just like, uh, even it's like, all right, he had the freedom to go do that. He did that. All right. Also, the time that he was my age, it was, I don't even, I don't, I hate saying that it was a lot easier from where I stand and from what I hear of that time, it seemed a lot easier to. Things were especially easy back in your, like in your dad and grandpa's day to be a black man. It was way easier probably. Well, I'm not, we'll see. Listen, <laughs> but just like, just on some shit, like say something, I <laughs> say something. Say <laughs> something. But it, all right, but but even then, it's just like on some shit. Like where it's like I couldn't just graduate high school and then all right, I can just go work at this factory for oh yeah, yeah forty true. years and that's I get true. a pension. But nobody is offering <laughs> nothing no more. Like they had it made back in the day. And they you know, and, go straight and to the factory that, and kill all their dreams immediately. I had to go out. Well, and see, also it's just like, bro. I'm like, but y'all made. Th- but even my grandpa, he took advantage of his, you know, well, he went in the military. That was first and foremost. You know what I mean? Which was a, that's a big way to get some money, at least back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Did you do military? Did you Man, fuck that? no. How about you? Did you, were you have any consideration of military? Oh, Tom, I was say that. You seem very patriotic. That's, that's so what I'm crazy. saying. No, bro. I'm patriotic over here. <laughs> no, I will say. <laughs> if there was I a did. Greensboro army, would you join it? I mean, if, if 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 we get to the point where Greensboro done made an army, I'm, yeah. it's already, I'm already there. It's too late. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like whatever it's already the, the worst case scenario is, we there. So I mean, I'm I'm not going to stay at home while we lose. Mm. All right, if we do. lose, I'm out in the field losing with them. Fundy, can you come sit down? I want to talk to you about my, what the schools my my son's getting ready to go to. Maybe we, I think this is, this could be some funny in here. But you don't have to. But that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna do ten minutes. We're going to get some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got $26 in the bank. <laughs> why, why would you put why it in the bank? Why is your book all stained, bro? I've got some. I put coffee on I spilled coffee on it. You know, I'm really liking that book, here, man. It's <laughs> funny about the bully time for two Yeah, minutes. he comes in. He does. <laughs> yeah, you guys. So, your job. So, um, I. Oh, so we were talking outside. I want to. I want to. I want to run through this. You got the All Owens right. getting the have a, potentially having an offer to go pitch and, uh, and play in the, at A and T, and you went to A and T. Yeah. And that's what I saw your oh, post about A and T, and it made me realize. Oh, that's a let that that's boy an go HBCU. to A and T, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let him go. I'm not. <laughs> I, I mean, I would go. say I'm, it's, it's not a bad it school. It is a good school. Right. Well, what's his major? He wants to be. Who gives he, he ultimately wants to be an engineer. <laughs> oh yeah, go to A and T. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Go to Antie, bro. One of the best experiences you ever gonna have in his fucking life. Also that. Oh man. Antie was. He gonna come out. It was fun. Flavor, dude. He's gonna come out with some flavor. Oh, you think he ain't? Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. Oh yeah, bro. Mm. Uh, JD's uh, JD's over there taking deep breaths, wanting to say. If I was a young Owen, he gonna come back Italian, nigga. (laughs) 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 He gonna come home Italian, bro. (laughs) 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 
Niggas should be having chains no, on, bro. Nah, he's already got the chain. He's already got a bunch Oh, of right. He halfway. He Greek. Yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a good time, man. I, you know, he, will, he will love it yeah, over I'm, there. I'd yeah, be very excited if he had something to go to AT. Yeah. Be good. And he'll be here around here so you can go check him out next I'd week. love it. I'd love it's it. a good school. Yeah. yeah. And he'll now, be an, engi- now, he'll be an Tom, engineering, though. Tom on AT campus is going to be funny as shit. Hilarious. Yeah, that's going to be hilarious. I think John. Oh, it's going to be fine. He'll well, be fine over there too. He'll be fine over there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He hang, he hangs with you guys all the time. He wrote on Miss Pat. He's he's good with it. You know what I mean? He's good. <laughs> he just walks around saying that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wrote on Miss Pat. Pat. He gotta wear his Miss Pat hat and stuff. Somebody shirt. try to rob him. Hey, I wrote on Miss Pat. I wrote on Miss Pat. <laughs> Did no, you get the newsletter? Right? Everybody will know who my son, who I'm there to root for. <laughs> oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> you could be you're gonna be like one of two dudes nah, dads. You know what's gonna happen though? Everybody's going to know Owen, and they're going to be like, who the fuck is this white dude always following Owen around? Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not going to think hey, Owen Hey, white black dude. Owen, you know that white man? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it is. It's... My son's about to go to school the way I grew up, and I think that's good for him. Yeah. Are there any negatives for Cause him? Because it is. Yeah. I mean, because he's going to. He's obviously jealousy. Gonna... Bruh, jealousy. Feel out of place. Jealousy. You racism? have to feel out like, of like place I said, jealousy. at some point in life. Yeah. And I was like, you know what I mean? We not I spend the, I've spent the end. Outside of the years I was at AT, I've spent my entire life. Out of place, right? You know what I mean. Yeah. So I, th- you know, I, bro, I, let that... I, I wouldn't. Th- I wouldn't say. And my only place of being in that was mm-hmm. like either being like when I was writing on Miss Pat or when mm-hmm. I was doing comedy at Uptown, and it was yeah. like that was that recognition of like, oh, that is different to be yeah. out of not the person. It, it makes you, it makes you a. I say better. It makes you more well rounded. That's what I thought. Yeah. What I, I, was, I was trying I to go to A and T. My mom said, "No, nah, you got to go. If you want to go to Greensboro, you're going to UNCG." So I, I, that's why I went to. But I mean, right. my, but since kindergarten to graduation, it was ninety nine percent black people. I might I might have class with a white. I, I didn't have class with white people too. Went to high school and everybody you, from the whole county came in. Have you ever been somewhere and be like, "There's too many white people here"? Yes. Yeah, right. Me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. But how, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> everybody happens <laughs> literally <laughs> on a daily basis. But what's that number? It what's is, that number where you start to say there's too many? It depends on where I'm at. You Washington, I mean? D.C. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It had to be like five, 600 before you even I'm going to give you a... I'm going to give you a... Hold on, hold on. There's too many people talking. You're going to be like, you know... Too many people talking. You guys are fucking... You guys make me crazy. What the fuck were you just saying? I'm going to give you a tangible example of two white people. All right. If it's... Where the idiot box? Everybody sitting down is white. Yeah, no thank you. And... Talk about it. Hell yeah. And then... Stand room only. It's okay. also all white people. Yeah. That's too many white people. Right? Okay. That's too. That's like. That's hundred percent. Like. That's too many. Okay. I think we can all agree. So if we're all yeah. in the idiot box and it's all white people sitting, but then we have the black people in the back, that's cool. <laughs> no. That's. that's, that's I a, wait, was what? just talking about people. Yeah. All in space. Members. Yeah. I wasn't trying to get specific. <laughs> I was like that. Whatever that number is. Yeah. That's too many. Whatever that yeah, number okay. is. Okay. All right. I got you. You're saying as. It, to but it is just kind of like it, it, it only takes one black person to sit in the back for we all sit in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. Bro, if, I, if I see you go up in the back, bro. I'm sitting beside Gua. And then Eve sitting beside me. And then we all, we, yeah, we a unit. So, it's more about being like solidarity. Yeah. And yeah. then I come up and say, hey, fellas. Yeah. And he okay. fucks it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why I do it. How it's many so chefs would be too many white people? Mm. No, nah, Seth Cool. Yeah, but how many would but be too many? But if you didn't know me, you just saw If I didn't know you, we're talking about there's. There's uh, like there's only Seth type white people. It's only Seth. Am I by myself? Yeah. Just me by myself. Yeah, it's just you and a bunch of Seths. Is this Seth as we know him or like it's West Virginia? Seth, no, 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 there's two different Seths. Uh, it's Seth before black people and Seth after black people. Post-black he said people. himself he did not know about black people until he got down here. Yeah. So is this before black people Seth? Current day Seth. Uh, a billion, fine. <laughs> Seth cool as shit. <laughs> I don't think at a billion, mama, Seth's we, like, let's beat up JD. Yeah. <laughs> are we they hanging out start, or am I out in the back? They just start getting off the bus. Just all wearing the same clothes? Because it's like, <laughs> if, if it's like an attack of the clones or something like that. we all speak at once? Because I was going to say, like, if it's two Seths that I know, all right, hell yeah. Right. But if we talking about, like, stranger Seths, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know these Seths. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three. Yeah, like that before black people. Number? Wow, well, okay. it, it, before all, black people, I thought it was gonna be lower. It's all context, so it's just kind of like if I'm at if I'm at a Harris Teeter, it's just kind of like all right, I can already expect a certain number of sets. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like 
I'm not going to be hella uncomfortable if it goes a little above that number. But if it's just like, if I'm in Harris Teeter and it's the middle of the day and it's 300 Seths, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're all, but it's like, it don't even matter if they're angry. But like, they're, <laughs> they're just like, just like a beehive of Seths. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't do that. I don't think I could either. Just I don't think anybody dude. could. We could you know do that with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, also, I don't, I don't like being around a lot of people at one time. But I had a, when I was like, like seven, yeah. I went to the doctor to get a physical. Because I was like playing like soccer and shit, so I needed the physical yeah. to play. And uh, I remember dead ass, my doctor, my pediatrician, Dr. Lentz, same doctor as Jenny's kids, when they were fucking little. He said to my face in front of my mama, you are going to die in your 30s. I was just like, Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> but he was That's the not- last <laughs> one to say that. <laughs> and now I'm 26 and I'm breathing Shut the fuck so out, hard. <laughs> I'm breathing so hard just to talk. Right. <laughs> You're not even and that big. I, oh no, I'm, I'm a lot heavier than you think. Okay. Than How what tall most are you? Think. I'm like 5'10, five, 5'11. Yeah, okay. if Guwap just had a couple more inches of height, bro, we would be talking about this at all, bro. He's, he's, he's little, he's bro, little dwarf. Two months ago, I was like almost 360. What? On my mama. <laughs> Nigga, I'm 330 right now. start calling said. you Xbox. You said what? You start calling you Xbox. <laughs> hey, bro. That's what, I, do it. Nobody be doing it, what bro. Up, Xbox? I, but see, you, you, but you was always talking about working you out and sparring with that other big dude. Yeah. So I was like, man, he got under control. Oh, okay. I ain't know you cross three. Oh, yeah, I've been crossed three. I've been close three for years. Now. Good God. Well, I do, but it is just like the reason why I don't look that big is because I do, I mean, nigga, I do manual labor at home. Yeah. I got the garden. Yo, your hands mean? are and I do work so out. soft, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, my, Gua, my, oh, Gua, my hands are wet right now. You, yo, his hands are so soft. I remember I remember <laughs> when we first started hanging out, I walk up, dab him up, and I'm like, this motherfucker ain't ever worked a day in his <laughs> life, bro. You got soft hands, too. Yeah, <laughs> but my hands, my too. hands stay sweaty, so they always yeah. moisturize, bro. No, no, I understand the moisturization. Listen, that ain't moisture. You, yeah, you know what I mean? That ain't lotion. I wear gloves though. Yo, you, yeah, my boy got the soft ass hands. I wear gloves. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all, y'all don't wear gloves when y'all like work with like. I just didn't. Wood and I got blister y'all... here, and I got one here. I was digging in the, I was digging that hole. Bro, I've been wife. wearing gloves. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Yeah, I'm put on gloves now. What? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. You got soft ass hands. I'm happy for you. I'm happy your hands are so soft. <laughs> 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 My girl happy. Everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 